Hey, thank you for uh, following the uh, First Middle Church of Christ. We're really glad to have you. And we hope God has been blessing you throughout this whole uh, weekend and the week coming. And I want to thank all those who have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We hope God will continue to encourage you with our messages and strengthen you in your walk with the Lord. Thanks to all those who have donated to our ministry and supporting us. We hope God will continue to bless you as well. Here at the First Middle Church of Christ, this is where the faith, the fellowship, and the power of God's Word meet. We're calling all metalheads and believers alike to join us in spreading the message of love and acceptance. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Stay in touch with our inspiring messages. Don't miss out subscribing to our YouTube channel, and be sure to pass it along to your family and friends. We have some great messages and topics that will help you and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. And join us online, and let's show the world what it means to be a true disciple of Christ in rock and roll. And together, we can change the world. Your generous donations play a vital role in sustaining our ministry and enabling us to continue spreading the message of hope and redemption. Your support allows us to reach more people, create meaningful experiences for our community, and together, let's make a difference and share the transformative power of God's love with the world. Join us online, subscribe, and support our mission. Our message today, Will Our Pets Be in Heaven? I want to explore a question that has touched the hearts of many pet owners, including myself. Will our beloved pets be in heaven with us? It's a question that has stirred emotions and sparked theological debates. As we look into this topic, let us seek the guidance of the Word of God to gain insight and understanding. You see, the goodness of God's creation. You see, to begin our exploration, we need to reflect on the goodness of God's creation. In the book of Genesis, we are reminded that God looked at all he had made and saw that it was very good. Genesis 1.31. And this included the animals that God created. The psalmist also declares the earth of the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. Psalms 24.1. This highlights the integral role that animals play in God's creation and his care for them. The redemption of all creation. In Romans 8, 19, verse, uh, chapter 8, verses 19 to 21, the Apostle Paul speaks of creation eagerly waiting for the time when it will all be set free from the bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. This passage suggests that all creation, including animals, is intertwined with the redemptive plan of God. The hope of the restoration of all things shall lead us to consider the fate of our beloved pets in the scope of God's redemptive work. See, throughout scriptures, we find evidence that of God's care for his creatures, including animals. In Mark 6, 26, Jesus points to the birds of the air, and he highlights how the Heavenly Father feeds them. This demonstrates God's loving and provincial care for his creation. If God cares for the birds, how much more would he care for the animals that bring us joy and companionship? Now, the theological perspectives on animals' redemption, uh, drawing from the theological studies, Various perspectives has emerged regarding the redemption of animals. Some theologians argue that the redemptive work of Christ extends to all creation, including animals. They point to passages such as Colossians 1.20, which speaks of Christ reconciling everything to himself, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. In the mystery of God's eternal plan, you see, as we ponder the question on whether our pets will be in heaven with us, it's essential to acknowledge the mystery of God's eternal plan. 1 Corinthians 13, 12, Paul writes, Now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in a mirror, but then we will see everything with perfect clarity. We currently have limited understanding, but we trust in the goodness and wisdom of God's eternal plan. You see, in the book of Revelation, John offers a vision of God's kingdom depicting the new heaven and new earth, Revelation 21.1. This vision includes the imagery of a, a renewed cre a creation where there will be no more death, no sorrow, no crying, or no pain. While these specific inclusions of animals in the new heaven and new earth is not explicitly mentioned, the de depiction of a renewed creation offers hope and anticipation of a world where the harmony of beauty of God's original design was fully restored. See, the prophet Isaiah provides a glimpse into God's promise of restoration, where he envisions a future where the wolf and the lamb will live together, and the leopard will lie down with the baby goat, 
Isaiah 11, 6. This prophetic imagery speaks to the reconciliation and peace that will characterize God's restored creation. It invites us to consider the possibilities of our beloved pets being part of this harmonious renewal. You see, the, the deep bond and companionship that exists between humans and animals are undeniable. The scriptures acknowledge the significance on this bond, as seen in Proverbs 12.10. The godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. This verse underscores the importance of companionship and care for animals, reflecting the value that God places on a relationship with them. You see, the depth of God's love extends far beyond our human comprehension. While the scriptures do not provide explicit details about the fate of animals in the afterlife, we can rest in the assurance that God's love and justice are perfect. The unfavorable nature of God's love invites us to trust in his wisdom and goodness, even in matters that may re remain a mystery to us. As we ponder the fate of our pets in the aftermath, um, it's important to maintain an internal perspective. While our earthly lives are filled with love and companionship with our pets, we are reminded that the fullness of God's kingdom surpasses our present understanding. Our hope lies in the promise of a future where every tear will be wiped away and every loss will be redeemed in the presence of our gracious and loving God. While the question of whether our pets will be in heaven with us still remain unanswered, we can find comfort in the hope of joyful reunion in God's kingdom. The love and bond that we share with our pets on earth reflect the beauty of companionship and care. And we can trust that the joy of reunion in the presence of our Creator will surpass all earthly experience. Regardless of the specific fate of animals in the afterlife, the scriptures continually emphasize the call to care for God's creation. As stewards of the earth, we are entrusted with the responsibility to show compassion, kindness, and care for all living beings. Our love and care for animals reflect God's love for His creation and demonstrates our reverence for the wondrous uh, diversity of life that has been fashioned. While contemplating the afterlife for our pets, it's important to meditate on the nature of God's kingdom. The scriptures describe a place where love, joy, and peace abound. While the specific inclusions of animals is not explicitly detailed or outlined, the overarching theme of, of harmony and restoration in God's kingdom invites us to envision a realm where the beauty of God's creation is fully restored and the restoration of all things. Scripture speaks of the redemption and restoration of all things through Christ. The comprehensive scope of God's redemptive work prompts us to consider the possibility of animals being part of this grand renewal. While our understanding may be limited, the magnitude of God's redemptive plan encompasses all the creation and invites us to anticipate a future where every aspect of his wondrous design is brought into perfect harmony. As we seek insight into our pets after life, we are reminded of the character of God as revealed in the scriptures. God is loving, God is just, and God is compassionate, and his care extends to all his creation. While we may not have definite and definitive answers regarding the fate of animals in the afterlife, we can trust in the goodness and mercy of our Creator, who is intimately concerned with the well-being of every living being. In Romans 8.21, the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul speaks of the creation being set free from his bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glorious of the children of God. This vision of a reconciled creation hints at the possibility of animals being included in the renewal of all things. While we await the full realization of God's redemptive plan, we are invited to anticipate a future where the beauty and diversity of God's creation are fully restored. In summary, as we grapple with the question of our pet's afterlife, we are encouraged to hold fast to the hope of God's promise, trust in His unfavorable love, and embrace the mystery of His eternal plan. While we may not have all the answers, we can rest in the assurance that our loving Creator encompasses all aspects of his creation and his perfect wisdom and care. May our contemplation of this profound topic deepen our reverence of God's diverse creation and further illuminate the boundless love of his gracious and merciful God. In closing, as we consider the fate of our pets in heaven, let us hold fast 
to the hope of God's eternal promises and the assurance of his perfect love. While our understanding may be limited, we can trust in the goodness and wisdom of our Creator who holds all things in his hand. And may we continue to cherish and care for the animals that bring us joy and companionship. Recognizing the beauty of God's diverse creation and our role as stewards in his wondrous handiwork. In conclusion, the question of whether our pets will be in heaven with us is one that stirs our emotions and prompts us to seek understanding. While the scriptures do not provide explicit clarity on this matter, they do offer insight into God's care for his creation, the redemptive work of Christ, and the promise of a renewed creation. As we reflect on these truths, we are reminded of the immeasurable love and goodness of God, who is the creator of all things. While we may not have definitive answers at this time, we can trust in the hope of God's promise of restoration and the assurance that his love encompasses all his creation. Ultimately, our focus should remain in the joy of God's kingdom, where we will be united in the presence of our loving creator. As we await the fulfillment of God's eternal plan, let us continue to care for and appreciate the animals that bring us joy and companionship, recognizing the significance of our relationship with them. And may we find comfort in the hope of God's redemptive work and his promise of a renewed creation, where every aspect of his wondrous design will be brought into perfect harmony once again.